So 3D Experience says, how much bed variance is acceptable when using ABL with a mesh? I'm using a glass bed 330 by 300. So there's no theoretical limit to how much compensation can happen with a bed probe, whether it's an easy ABL, BL touch, stock probe. Um, there's no theoretical limit. The thing is, the less work your Z has to be doing, the better and the less compensation. Because let's say your bed is completely crazy, your part is going to get um, going to get skewed quite a bit because it's trying to compensate for that. So the more you can get your bed into level, um, the better, but obviously then like the way I see auto bed leveling is get your bed as level as possible, um, and lock it in, you know, solid mount it. Some people will, you know, use washers and shim it. Um, my thing is like, I've had printers where the Y carriage is completely warped. Um, like it got bent at the factory or something. I will take it off the printer, take it in the garage and try to flatten it out as much as I can, you know, take like a, a piece of wood, put it on there and hammer the wood onto the plate to flatten it out and put it back on there. Um, but yeah, the other, uh, um, uh, the other thing is the less work your Z has to do, the better. And then basically stuff you can't really compensate for is like, let's say your bed's, you know, kind of wavy because a lot of them are, you know, you're higher in the center or lower in the center when you lever the corners. That's where like bed leveling systems shine is compensating for that kind of stuff. So, but there's no theoretical limit um, to bed leveling compensation. So 